What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is JR Looks. If you haven't already done so, <clears throat> please like, subscribe, and share to the channel. Um, so today I'll be doing a reading and channel messages for the sign of Gemini. So right off the back, Gemini, I'm hearing Jim and I. So I feel like, yo, it's just been you and the weights. You've been taking everything out on the weights. You've been at the gym a lot more. And if you haven't already done so, I feel like you need to go get a gym membership, right? And uh, get some of that shit up off you, right? I also feel like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, split personality. Jim and I, they don't know it's two of you, right? You fight every day to keep yourself cool, to keep Mr. Hyde from coming out, right? So, <laughs> yeah. Y'all, so Jim and I, your channel song is, there's a couple of them. But the first one is, ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you, babe. Yo, so I feel like somebody, I feel like somebody took a vow even in death to protect you, right? Um, I feel like, yo, somebody like, yo, call me if you need me, I'll be there. If you fell out with somebody that you was super cool with, like for whatever reason, they still on some on some commando shit when it comes to you. If you ever need somebody uh, that you fell out with, I don't know how long you talk to this person, whatever the case may be, but Gemini, you have a ride or die on your energy and all they waiting on is for you to call them. No matter how long it's been, if you ever got into it, Joe, this person's going to be there for you. Again, on the, on the, on the flip side, I feel like your spirit team, yo, this goes back to your guardian angels. Yo, they there to assist you but you have to call on them, right? So I feel like your guardian angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors are saying, hey, tag me in. I'm here if you need me. Tag me in. I got you, yo. Um, yo, get at me. So uh, again, with that song, I also feel like, yo, you've been saying affirmations, right? You've been chatting. Um, you, you've been conjuring. You've been, you could have been drinking Ludacris's liquor. He has a liquor called Conjure. Um, I feel like, yeah, you, you 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 chanting right now. You're doing your affirmations. You've been on those pretty much. I also feel like Beetlejuice, 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 right? I feel like people are speaking your name up. Uh, but I feel like somebody here is rogue and didn't finish the curriculum, right? So Beetlejuice was a, a, a ghost who was called to get new people out of the home, right? But Beetlejuice had his own agenda, right? So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who not only didn't finish the curriculum, they got their own agenda, right? But here's the thing, you finished the curriculum, right? So they're not gonna be able to beat you. They got just enough to say I'm doing this, which is pretty much shock value, right? Um, I feel like people are going to ride with you just because and just cause you're a ju you're a just cause, right? You're, you're, you're something worth riding for, right? Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. Again, people are speaking you up, but when I mean speaking you up, I feel I feel like yo, know, people are speaking good on you, or as my OG partner say, yo, they putting big draws on you, right? Some pe people are bragging about you, right? I feel like you're an urban legend. People talk about the shit that you used to do, Gemini, right? Whatever this could have been, right? I also feel like that album by T.I. Urban Legend could be significant. Um, I feel like you need an exterminator. Like, you need to get the house sprayed. You need to sage. Uh, you got too many people in your businesses. Bugs and flies represent monitoring spirits. So if you see them just out in the ordinary where they ain't supposed to be at, it's like, yo, it's people trying to get intel on what you got going on. I feel like you need to spray, sage, or clean, right? Um... Yo, so the second channel song is um, uh, by a Tweet called C -c 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 Call Me Ooh If You Need Me. Babe, you don't have to worry. Call, we can do, we can do something. I feel like somebody here is a big freak. Somebody waiting for you to call them so they can do whatever it is that you want them to do. Somebody is on, somebody's into whatever you into, right? I feel like somebody also touched themselves to pictures of you, screenshots of you, videos of you, whatever you have online, somebody is touching themselves. For those who know Tweet, 
she got on with the song uh there goes my shark where she was pretty much touching it touching herself so i feel like somebody touching itself thinking about you or but this is you right yo i also feel like con air i feel like yo the movie con air is significant i feel like yo if you wasn't actually doing time and just came home or made it out of a crazy situation i feel like yo you were born into a situation or uh, you were left in an environment or or you were dealing with an entity or an organization for a long period of time where everybody in there was crazy as a motherfucker yo like really screwed up yo everybody on that plane for con air was was going somewhere for a long time. It's like yo, they 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 was on a plane to hell essentially. Uh, Nicholas Cage was the only one that was supposed to be coming home free, right? And once they found out towards the end of the movie that he was free, it's like people were mad he made it out, and, and they thought he was one of them, but he wasn't. He was actually a dude who did his time and got up out of there. So I felt like yo, whatever lesson you needed to learn from being around an entity, whether it was the situation he was born into, whether it was uh, if you, if a motherfucker got locked up, whatever it is. You learn what you needed to learn, and, and people are trying to keep you from moving on, right? I feel like the head honcho Cyrus, the virus is is is, is someone uh, who don't have no love to do nobody but they self, right? The Cyrus, Cyrus, uh, the Cyrus, the virus in this situation is whoever was the head honcho of this group, parent, guardian, figure, whoever was running the show really don't give a shit about anybody else but what they got going on. Everybody is expendable to them, right? Um, Y'all also feel like uh, Precious Mom is real significant. I feel like somebody had a relationship with their mom like the way Precious had. And whether this is a foster mom, a real mom, uh, 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 a guardian, I feel like whatever, whatever they allow to happen to you, um, they blame you for it. Like whatever they put you through, like they really blame you for that. Like there's a part in the movie where Precious Mom say, uh, you didn't fucked around and fucked my motherfucking man and had two motherfucking children. And one of them is a goddamn animal running around looking crazy as a motherfucker. I feel like, yo, if this is a parent like that, yo, this is a parent, a guardian, somebody that was in charge of you, right? That, that puts you through shit, yo. And, and and allowed all these things to happen and, and are now trying to blame you for it. I also feel like, yo, she she kept you from advancing also, right? Because if you think about it, yo, in the movie, yo, uh, they was trying to get Precious in a, in, a, in a school, in a higher learner. Like, Precious was sharp. So I feel like the mom was sabotaging Precious as much as she could. So you could have had a parent or a guardian or somebody in that, or somebody in that right who... who, who there was arrested development when it came to, it's like people purposely held you back. Man. She, this parent or this entity, whatever it is, they purposely held you back to keep you from moving on, right? But I feel like they fumbled the golden goose, right? I feel like somebody here is plutonium, literally, or they have something that's like plutonium. If y'all know what plutonium is, and back to the future, plutonium is what powered the card, right? Um, so I feel like... Uh, and plutonium is also what 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 you use to make a nuclear weapon. So this is some powerful shit. Somebody fumbled plutonium, didn't know what they had till it was gone, right? And now uh, they trying to get it back, but they not the only one trying to get this plutonium, right? Um, I feel like somebody fumbled the goose with the golden egg, right? They, they treated the goose real bad, right? And the goose stopped laying eggs for him, right? Or just didn't lay eggs for him. But I'm, I'm hearing the moment the goose left, the goose laid eggs the second it got away. Nothing but gold. So somebody here is in regret on how they treated this goose. And more importantly is somebody dreads you making it and telling the world how you treated them. Right? Yeah. Okay, yo. So as usual, we're gonna pull an oracle message and three card, three tarot cards. One for the energy, two to clarify the energy, yo, and three for uh, a card of advice, right? So Jim and I, Jim and I, I feel like you need to get back into the gym, or it's just literally been you and the gym, right? Back to the future. I also feel like somebody. 
is trying to go back and change something to affect now, and it's too late, right? The, wh wh whatever it is it's all, that somebody already did, they end up going back and changing it. It's like they still trying to go back and not even write their wrongs, just change it to where it looks like, like that's not what happened. Like trying to rewrite history, it's too late right back to the future because in the movie they were trying to go back and, and change shit to affect shit in the future it's too late for that there's no honor among thieves, right whoever it is that's in charge or that was in charge of, the, of, the, of this plan to to uh to keep you from keep you from uh moving forward you know they don't give a shit they don't give a shit about you you or whoever else is in the group that's helping them do this they don't care about y'all either right there is no honor amongst these right so i feel like the group is going to implode right whatever this group is yeah we on the same plane but we going different places you don't you made it out right and you was around some crazy motherfuckers right people on that kind of airplane yo yo they were sick almost right the shit that uh, some of them people did were sick i feel like yo you was around this. You was in a cycle with these people around these people, but you didn't become these people, right? You made it out. Y'all, so Oracle message for Gemini, please. Faith. Wavering, unwavering faith, trust, confidence, right? I feel like, again, whatever you believe in, Yo, have faith that the situation is going to work in your favor, right? Put your faith in a, put put your your trust in a higher faith, or again, or whatever it is that you subscribe to. Just know shit's going to work out in your favor, right? Um, yeah, there's no there 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 there's there's no more. Yo, that's the simplest simplest way you can say that. Yo, there's a key. There's a key. There's a key to there's a keyhole to this heart too. So I feel like um. You got the keys to someone's heart, huh? Right there's this, or uh, whatever this skeleton key is. Only that, only whatever this key is, it fits in there. We'll get, yeah, we'll get back to that. But uh, you know, I feel like your faith is what's going to get you through, right? Whatever it is that you believe in, it's going to carry you, that you hold near and dear, right? Just have faith that a situation is going to work in your favor. Six and three is nine. Nine in tarot talks about. Getting your wishes, whatever that you, whatever it is that you were seeking that you wanted, yo, it talks about getting that. So just have faith that 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 shit's going to work in your favor, yo. Trust whatever's going on. You might not see shit. Uh, shit might be dismal, uh, right? But if if you did the work, right, yo, and this can go back to yo, this can go back to the affirmations and 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 the prayers, yo. If you did the work, um, even in the spiritual sense, right? If you did what you needed to do. Uh, you have to have faith that this shit's going to work, right? That whatever it is that, that you were instructed to do uh, by faith, yo, the scripture for faith is, faith is the things that are hoped for that are not seen. Um, I believe I said that correct. Yo, yo, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, have faith in the situation, right? Yo, so have faith in the situation. Have faith. Keep hope alive, right? <laughs> Keep hope alive. Yo, so the current energy in tarot for Gemini is keep hope alive. Just cause. A just cause, right? Found something, found something to believe in. Yo, believe in it then. If you found something worth believing in, yo, believe in it. That's just cause, right? Stay with that. That's gonna get you over the hump, right? Okay, um, let's see. No, so the current energy we have for Gemini's is ten of, ten of Pentacles in reverse, right? Yo, I just said it. Yo, you made it out. Yo, Ten of Pentacles, right? Yo, this this represents uh uh uh, uh Ten of Pentacles represents family, right? Yo, ten, uh represents uh um family money. Uh, an inheritance, happily ever after in the sky. Yo, we got money put up. We got a caregiver, this and that. Yo, it's in reverse, yo. So this is like I said, yo, I feel like, I feel like, yo, you've had a horrible parent or, or you come from a horrible family, a horrible situation where, again, it's all fucked up. All these pinnacles is in reverse, yo. So everybody in this motherfucker is damn near cuckoo, right? Uh, 
Yeah, I feel like you got out of us. You, you, you're leaving. Yo, you leaving this family dynamic. Like I said, Conair, yo, however long you was around this situation, this organization, whatever it is, yo, yo, the thrill is gone. Yo, time is up. You did whatever it is you needed to do. Uh, this cycle is over. It tens represents endings, right? So, uh, yeah, that's that's the end of this organization, this entity. Yo, it was all fucked up anyway. Yo, this is in reverse, right? So I feel like, yo, you are leaving these people behind. These, and these people are mad you're getting away from them too also, right? So I feel like, again, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Leaving the situation, getting the fuck up out of there, right? That shit did not work out. Again, it's a cycle. It's over with, right? It's like somebody wants to keep you in that cycle. But no, you're gone. Again, con there. Y'all on the same plane, but y'all going different places, right? Have faith, God is ushering you. God is, yo, you're being rescued. You're being carried away. You get, you get, you get lifted out of a situation, the rapture, right? Yo, that's clarified with. This Ten of Pentacles in reverse is clarified with. See ya. Sigh of fucking aura, right? Gone. Two tens, ten, yo, ten, yo, here we go again, yo, we got ten, we got ten of pentacles and, 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 uh, the wheel of fortune in reverse, which is also a ten, yo, time's up, the table's turned, yo, I'm out of here, yo, the table's turned on the situation, so if this was somebody doing this to you, yo, you up out of there, yo, as soon as you get up out of there, yo, it's like, uh, uh, once you leave, again, the ten of, the, the, the wheel of fortune in reverse, I feel like somebody fumbled the motherfucking golden goose, right, uh, plutonium, right? Whatever this was, yo, this was the, the gold, the, the goose with the golden egg. You fumbled somebody that can change, that can change, change your, change your trajectory, what you had going on, yo. Y'all blew that. That is over. We got two tens, ten tens, yo. Those are endings, right? You may have been seeing ten, 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 ten on the clock, right? Ten, uh, the wheel of fortune, the tables turn. Wheel of fortune reverse is either, yo, just exactly what it sounds. The, the wheel of fortune reverse. Or the tables literally turning, yo. It's going to be a shift. So this cycle is over. Whatever this is, these again, it's two tens. These are endings, yo. This, 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 yo. This looks like a birth chart, a wheel, right? This is an actual birth chart. So somebody's birth chart could be real significant here, right? Time is up. I've been having that. I've been saying that for a while, right? Time is up in a situation, yo. The tables turn, right? So it, it, we switch positions, right? Right, right. The last will be first and the first shall be last. Yo, we switch positions. So I feel like, yo, that shit is over with. Right? Tables turn. Yo, yo, yo there's going to be a shift in this situation. Okay, let me get a card of advice, please, for Gemini. Please and thank you. A card of advice, please and thank you. 10 10. Yo, don't, yo, the cards don't lie. Yo, that's an ending. Two endings at that, yo. Just to, that that cycle is over, nigga, and 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 and, and the table's turn, yo. It's a shift, yo. So, man, a card of advice, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, ancestors, and spirit, and spirit guides. Excuse me, man, a card of advice for Gemini, please, and thank you. One card for advice, please, and thank you. So the card of advice for Gemini is, your card of advice is, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, right? Feel like somebody's threatened by your independence, right? Somebody, yo, some, yo, somebody, they, somebody thought you were always going to be independent on, somebody thought you were always going to be dependent on them, right? Yo, if you, if you if you thought you were going to need somebody's help, you're not, right? You will be getting your independence back really soon, right? If you was in a situation to where you were tied to people, right? You got the Ten of Pentacles, you got in reverse, you got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, right? If you were in a situation where you were dependent upon this, you're being freed from a situation, right? You are getting your independence back, right? Right? Independence Day, right? You're getting your papers, yo. So if you go out, yo, this could be a divorce being finalized. This, this can be... Uh, uh, quitting a job. Um, I feel like yo, nine of pentacles, pentacles is also like your foundation of stability. Again, I feel like you you're leaving something. You're going to be leaving something that that 
it really it really wasn't your it really wasn't for your benefit anyway because the nine of pentacles in the upright represents being pretty single unencumbered you have everything you need uh shit's lined up for you it's like look she's out the window just chilling right in the reverse is you being dependent to somebody or some situation right these funds whatever it is it's like you don't have your freedom so i feel like with the nine of pentacles in reverse yo you are your you, your freedom is returning you are getting your freedom back that being said, Joe, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for joining my channel. Um, be blessed.